Dunk, is every boy's dream. They dream to dunk over the defense someday, but the most of them give up, just because they are not dull enough. Is it really? Did you know that there is a 5-2 guy who can dunk? You cannot dunk, not because you are not dull enough. It's just because, you have not trained yourself right. Today, we are gonna dive into the best exercises to improve your vertical jump height, based on the current research evidence. What do you think is important to be able to jump high? There are two major factors. Strength, and power. To be able to jump high, you need to have basic muscle strength, not only on your legs, but your whole body as well. This can be achieved by exercises, that target large group of muscles. Such as, bench press, squat, deadlift, crunches, you name it. But the most important factor of vertical jump is, power. Power is the product of force and velocity. You need to be able to generate the force in short period of time to be able to jump high. Even if you have great strength on your body, it is useless in jump, if you cannot move it quickly. Then, how do you train power? According to a meta-analysis done with volleyball players in 2020, plyometric jump training programs are effective in improving vertical jump height in volleyball players. Improvements can be achieved by both sexes from various age groups, with programs of relatively low volume and frequency. The plyometric exercises used in the studies include Jump rope, repeated counter movement jump, standing single leg hopping, tuck jump, double leg hop, kangaroo jump, double leg hurdle jump, single leg lateral bench jump, double leg stair jump, double leg box jump, double leg depth jump, and so forth. There are various types of plyometric exercises, but to optimize jumping enhancement, the combination of different types of plyometrics is recommended, rather than using only one form. Here is the recommended training load. Now you have strength and power. Do you think you are ready to dunk now? There are actually the third important factors of vertical jump. It is your weight control. Ultimately, your jump height depends on overall power to body weight ratio. You don't have to have a lot of power if you weigh only 10 pounds, but if you weigh 200 pounds, 300 pounds, or 400 pounds, you have to have much more power to jump high. So your weight control is crucial. But the tricky part is, you cannot just do extreme cardio, or diet to lose weight. According to a study done by Eric et al. in 2014, Cardiovascular training can be used to enhance fat loss. Interference with strength training adaptations, increases concomitantly with frequency and duration of cardiovascular training. Thus, the lowest frequency and duration possible, while achieving sufficient fat loss, should be used. Full body modalities or cycling may reduce interference. However, high intensities may as well, require more recovery. Fasted cardiovascular training may not have benefits over fed state, and could be detrimental. So, you want to lose weight, while maintaining your muscle mass, how do you do it? The best way to reduce weight while maintaining your muscle mass is, the combination of local auric diet, and lifting weight, especially with higher intensity, either with high load with low repetitions, or with low load to failure. Everyone is different, and there is no one exercise program that fits to all. You can try and find the best training program for yourself. As long as your training program covers basic strength exercise, power exercise, and with an appropriate weight and muscle mass control, you are on the right path. But the most important key here is, continuity is the father of success. Even though you have the best exercise program in the world, it is useless if you don't continue. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step.